Where's the dinner? <laughs> Hey, David and Mallory. I love you so much, and I'm so glad I got to come to you with you. I expect a picture. Dagna Mal, I love you both so much. Um, today I'm so proud of you, son. Sorry. So proud of you, buddy. You've uh, really grown up to be a, a great man, and uh, I really look forward to, to what you do in the future. Mallory, we love you. We love you so much. You guys are so beautiful, so gorgeous, and we expect grandbabies. Not real soon, but kind of soon. Five, you know, five, years. four, four or five years, something like that. Okay, I love y'all. Yeah. Love you. Hey, Dagan and Mallory. Just want to let you know, your Mimi and I are going to be celebrating our 49th wedding anniversary this year, and we hope you guys that many and many more. Good luck to you. Good. It's not too late. Don't do it. Run. Don't get married. Just run. But if you do go through with it, I do expect to see one of these soon in your future. Say hey, my hat. Say hey. Mom, a kiss. Hey. Nope. Just struggle. Good luck, Megan and Mallory. Welcome to the family. We love you all. Good luck, guys. I'm so happy and proud for you. And Mallory, you've been ours from day one. It's just making it official now. I love you guys. Dagan, behave and take care of her because you won't get another one like that. So, love you. Bye. Ah, Dagan and Mallory, love you guys so much and I'm so happy for you. Uh, you both look gorgeous tonight. Can't wait for the big day tomorrow. Love you. Love you both. Very excited, very happy. Mal, been there, we'll always be there. Dan, love you as part of my family, and we've got a long extended family, it looks like, with this occasion, it's awesome, but we have many more to come. Uh, I wish y'all the best, and I was so happy when Dagan walked in at Sissy's Log Cabin, and I was part of that journey of picking out your wonderful ring, and I'm so happy to be here to watch y'all um, get married. And we're having a blast. And I want y'all to have fun. Have fun on your honeymoon. And uh, good luck. Love you both. Bye. Thank you. Congratulations, Dagan and Mallory. I can remember Mallory, gosh, you were 17, a little over 17, and I dropped you off in Star City at the Living Goods and walked up to meet them on your side. And we met his parents, Donnie and I did, and it was just like yesterday, and it's been almost seven years now, and y'all have grown together and just were called each other buddies through high school, college, and you still call each other buddies. And all of, you, all of a sudden you said, I think we love each other more than just buddies. So I wish you the best. Congratulations, and so proud of you both. God bless you. Hey, Dagan and Mallory, uh, I just wish you guys the best and a long, prosperous, happy marriage, and uh, be fruitful and multiply, and give us some grandkids. Uh, Mallory, I just love you so much. Just, uh, thank you for uh, helping me with your mom and, and our relationship, and you've been a good buddy all this time, and Dagan, you're a great guy. You take care of Mallory. Love you both. And guess what? Mad Dog, he'll hang with me. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. my big bro and I'm going to be reading off my phone just heads up okay I feel like everyone thinks that I should be sad that I'm losing a brother or that you know Mallory's literally taking him from me but <laughs> I feel like it's more than that I feel like I'm gaining a sister that I've always wanted and never had a big sister Okay, well, I'm just going to end this real quick. Um, I love you guys endlessly, and I'm... <coughs> I can't look at you. 
first of all, growing up with Mallory and having a younger sister was fun. Um, we also had our challenges. However, Sunny was a little bit older, and so when she went off to college, I was in 10th grade, Mallory was starting junior high, and we really had a lot of time in our bathroom um, to spend with each other and to talk, and I drove her to school. Um, so we really formed a really great relationship just by us growing older together. Um, Mallory and I are best friends, and I've gotten to watch her grow up over these last few years. And I truly hope that I've made a positive impact on her life in some way. I have truly loved watching the relationship evolve for Mallory and Dayton. In this big, crazy world, it's hard to think that there's one person that is created for you. However, when you meet that person, it's truly life-changing. Dayton and Mallory, I hope you always look at each other the way that you do right now. This love is what will get you through the good times, the bad times, the happy times, and the sad times. I heard a speech a few weeks ago, and I really began to reflect on some things that were said. In that speech, I heard in life you need someone to look up to, someone to look forward to, and someone to chase. And so when I was preparing this speech, I got to thinking about those three things, and I decided to relate those to marriage. Someone to look up to would be God. Let Him lead your marriage and be the center of every decision and driving force that pushes you through everything. Someone to look forward to is each other. Always look forward to coming home to each other. Looking forward to traveling, moving, buying your first big purchase, a family, and everything else that life brings. And someone to chase. And I was, as I was thinking of this, I thought of myself and how I always strive to make myself better of a person for the next five years, a year, or even trying to improve myself from last week. And so chase your future self. Try and always be a better spouse than the previous day, week, year, etc. Day and chase the businessman that you want to be in the next five years and the nurse that you want to be, Mallory. Chase the dad and mom that you want to be one day and you'll realize you'll never catch up to that person because you will always be striving to make yourself better and chase new goals, new dreams, and new adventures. Marriage is easy when you love each other and want the best for your spouse. Be best friends and always have each other's back no matter what. At the end of the day, that's the only person that matters. You are going to become one, so keep that sacred and build upon it every day. I'm so happy for you two, and I truly wish you both well in everything you do. Let's raise our glasses to Mallory and Dayton. Cheers. I'm Sunny, Mallory's oldest sister, and like Kristen said, um, I got to watch Mallory grow up until about the seventh grade, and then I was out of the house um, for the rest of her growing. But um, for most of my adult life, Dagan and Mallory have been together. I've always been them together, and um, I think that it's neat that you guys have grown up together, and um, you're not finished growing either. And much to what Kristen said, I hope that. In 50 years, you can look at each other and still see all the reasons why you fell in love with each other, but see how far you've come also from the different people that you've evolved into. And um, I hope that you can show each other a lot of grace as you um, allow each other to grow and always show more grace than necessary because there are going to be days when um, one of you needs it more than the other and there will be days where um, you just really need your spouse to be a rock and your partner and to be understanding. And um, there's a quote that I love so much, and um, it says that even after all this time, the sun never says to the earth, you owe me. And look at what happens with a love like that. It lights the whole sky. And so I hope that you guys can continue to be the sun for each other and can continue to give more than you take. Because when you both give and give, you're always going to have more love, more respect, more trust than you need to make it through any situation. And so I hope that you'll enjoy growing together. Marriage is very, very fun. Um, and that you'll also develop your friendship that can last a lifetime. I love you guys. Hi guys, I'm Shelby. I'm Mallory's best friend for like 10 years. And I'm like them, I'm not near as prepared for this. I'm kind of like Inslee. I will start crying if we, if we get too deep. So I just want to say congratulations. <laughs>
And Dagan, thank you for making her happy because I've like seen y'all grow and it, it's really, it really makes all of her friends feel good knowing that, that she's gonna be taken care of and that she's found like the person that she's supposed to be with. So thank you to Dagan for that. And then you're the first one of our friends to actually get married. So we're all looking up to you. We gained a fat five member over here. <laughs> Do us. Yeah, we gained a fat five member. <laughs> so, um, but congratulations. Wish you the best. Love you. Thank Thank you. you. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> all right, I'm Jordan. Uh, I'm Dagan's best friend. I know that there's a God above us watching over us because when I was in third grade, he sent for me from Tennessee, the guy I'm fortunate enough to call my best friend. And for that, I'm forever grateful. Dagan's always been more than a friend. He's like a brother I never had. He's one person who could always tell me the right thing to do, but he's always still on my side even when I chose wrong. I want to thank him for that. Not only for that, but also for all the fun that we've had and all the trouble I've been in. I couldn't have done either without you. <laughs> You're mostly responsible for both. <laughs> <laughs> they could always been the one to come up with crazy plans. He just needed a wingman. One story I can remember pretty clearly. He said to me one day, six or seven years ago, he said we were going to Pine Bluff. We were going to hang out with two beautiful women that night. <laughs> That's when we first met Mallory. <laughs> At first, I didn't know how much I... How I really felt about Mallory because she stole all my dating time. <laughs> I guess I was a little bit jealous. But after a while, I realized I didn't lose a brother. I guess I, guess I just gained a sister. The truth is, since Mallory and Dagan have been together, you've changed both of our lives for the better. Without you, we'd probably both be in jail, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and I think we both want to thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> lastly, I want to thank Mr. Donnie and Ms. Mary Beth for raising an outstanding daughter to take care of my best friend. I also want to thank Mr. Ryan and Miss Alicia for raising a hardworking, selfless guy for me and Mallory to share. <laughs> I know you're all as proud as, of all they've accomplished as I am and of the people they've become and I can't wait to see what the future has to hold for y'all too. Uh, I'm Chance, Dagan's uh, little brother. I didn't really prepare anything and I was unaware. So, uh, I'm going to keep it real short and sweet and I'm trying to follow the juicy up. Uh, I, uh, I'm really excited for you guys, and uh, I'm glad to gain a sister as well as everybody else that has. And um, I'm just, uh, I love y'all. <laughs> That's it for me. <laughs> There's not a lot of people, you know, like as you go throughout life, people split ways, and you know, that's you lose people, you gain people. But that guy right there is stuck to my side, through my worst, and uh, I feel really honored to be here, and I know that. Uh, that girl right there is one of the best decisions you've ever made, you know, and uh, Mallory, I really appreciate you for who you shaped him to be, and I'm thankful for you because I'm here and we're all here, so I love you, dude. You're the bomb. After all those great words, I'd like to thank everyone. Um, you know, for us to be so far from home, it really means a lot to us to look out in this crowd and see all these faces. Um, you know, not most people are, are uh, as well as us, have such great friends and family. Uh, we just really want to thank everyone for coming. Um, my parents, my Malaysia, did a great job tonight. We're looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> I also like to thank uh, my parents, Mr. Donnie, Ms. Mary Beth. You guys did a great job. Also, Mr. Donnie, I'd like to thank you for uh, giving me old Mallory over here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but I was going to see if uh, before you did that, you could finish off the car now. No, we really are just so blessed to have each and every one of you in our lives. We're so thankful for all of these lovely people and their table that are standing by our side. We're blessed by each and every one of your friendships. 
commitment to Cola to share this special time with us, and we're so excited for tomorrow, and can't wait to be married! I'm going to keep this short and sweet, but I do remember when Mallory was a little shy of 17, maybe a little over 17, Dad, I'm hoping, around 18, but um, he said, where are we going? I said, we're going to take him to Star City so that um, she can meet a friend. What kind of friend? And I said, this this guy she's been wanting to meet. Why are we doing this? So we drove like, on the sidewalk. So we are going to walk up and meet her parents. Well, I'm not going to meet them. And I said, we're going to walk up and meet her parents. <laughs> so we did, and it was the Levin Goods. And of course, in those days, I'm thinking, she's going to love him. She's going to love him. And, I th and I'm not going to steal what you're going to say, because I know what she's going to say. But she walked in there, but they were young then. And every time they would talk on the phone, I thought, I don't have to worry about that. They're just buddies. That's all they do is say, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Did y'all? Buddy, 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 buddy. I said, perfect. They're just buddies, but buddies do fall in love. And they did, and we are here today, and they've grown together. I've watched them. Um, they've counseled me. I've counseled them. We all work together, and it's been a blessing, and I'm just very blessed and thankful for everyone and for the excitement that y'all bring and for the dear family that y'all have gained as well with brother-in-laws um, brother and daughter-in-laws and future as well, and great friends. Y'all have embraced us and loved us, and we've had a grand time, and we thank you for the support, and we just wish everybody would just pray and ask blessings. Thank you. Um, I'll be the crier tomorrow, <laughs> but um, I don't... Or today. Or today. <laughs>
so much for being me and for taking such good care of my son. And I'm so happy that you will be my daughter-in-law, okay? I love you dearly. Oh, Dad. 